Hello! I'm Obsidian Man, and today I am back in everybody's favorite Interstellar Rifts. And they released an update recently. Wow, I say recently, it was like well, what, over a week ago now. I just haven't been re doing any recordings recently, so. Um, I didn't get to do like an update video on the day it came out, like I did that one day with the uh, saving. Um, but yeah, so anyway, speaking of saving, actually, um, since the update, um, all of the galaxies that I had in the like before the update um, are not opening. Like I tried opening them, and they just crashed the game, which I guess makes sense because now they've added down at the bottom. You can see you have health and oxygen levels. So there's actual life support in the game. So if I go to ship stats, you need to see life support, saturation. Oh, actually, it tells you how much hydrogen you have too in reserve. But yeah, it tells you how much life oxygen there is. Oh, and it'll also tell you how many players are on board. That's pretty cool. But anyway. So yeah, that it it didn't save. But well, it did save. Whoa, they changed the names. But I guess since it didn't have the life support in it, it decided it got confused about like whether the station had life support or not, so I don't, I don't, that's my guess. But anyway, let's do. Um, so yeah, the fleet that I was building, it's gone. Well, it's not gone. I still have the world. However, I don't have the ability to open the world without crashing the game. So we're going to, um, I guess, restart sort of. And it looks like they also changed some of the flooring, which I think looks nice. But you know. Yeah, so you got a little bit of stuff there, but not too much. So yeah, let's get back to mining, as we usually do here. So that way we can get our ship up and running, or a ship up and running, so we can continue work on our amazing fleet of ships which we were building. And just because of this whole thing, I'm going to also set the refineries in the other room going. Well mining machines, not the refineries yet, so we don't have anything to refine yet. Get some stuff going. Let's do it. There we go. There's a lot of copper. Okay. Now, also, I'm going to... Oh, I should have... Never mind. Well, yeah, I'll go over here and do it. I'm going to show you, as far as I know, how the life support system works. Oh, I did get some water. Hydrogen. Wait. Yeah. Wait. What? How did I get... Hydrogen? Did I accidentally grab some from the thing? I don't know. I don't know why it would have been buried with the, um... Other stuff, but... Oh, well. So, yeah, let's just set the ore aside somewhere. Like in here. And then I will um, show you how to do life support systems as far as I know. All I have to do is find it. Anyway, um, here we go. So first what you need to do is mine some ice. Or water. It's not ice. Well, it's ice, but it, it's, it's water, okay guys? It's water, but it's... It says water, but it's actually ice. Because, you know, ice is frozen water, so it just says water. You know what I mean. Anyway, so... As you probably know, water is composed of two elements, hydrogen and oxygen. And typically in this game what we've been doing is taking the water and splitting it apart and taking the hydrogen and using that as fuel. Now, you're probably asking yourself, what do we do with the oxygen? Does it get destroyed? Okay, why is there like... What? Um, why... Oh, oh, I see, okay, okay. So this right here would refine it into hydrogen. And this refines it into oxygen, I think. That's how it's working. Yeah, see? So you can either do... Oh, that's weird. Why can't you do both? I don't know. But you can either do hydrogen or oxygen. And we're doing oxygen right now. So. And once it comes out, we'll take the oxygen, which we got. Yep, there it is. Come here. And you can see it looks similar to a hydrogen or a water container, but it's slightly different. It's pretty cool. Open door, thank you. And now, all we have to do is find ye olde life support system, which I'm guessing is going to be down here, because I think I saw it down here before. Why is the elevator never up here? 
Thank you. Ah, oh, that was pointless. Let's go back down. And going down. There we go. So anyway, you breathe oxygen. Yeah, that's about all I have to say about that. Yeah, I don't understand why you can't get the hydrogen and the oxygen. This looks like a... I don't know what that is. These are respawn bays. Okay. I think these are the vents you have to have for it to work. So I guess that's not where the life support system is. Cool. Push button. So where do you suppose it is, guys? Give me your best guess before we find it. Or if you have played through this already and you know where it is, good for you. I'm just a little behind. Don't judge me. Um, let's check in here. That seems the most reasonable place, since it's not where I thought the most reasonable place was. In here, where all the people are. Maybe in this room? That's the ladies' room. So probably not in there. And I'm guessing the other side is the men's. So um, I'm guessing it's not on this floor. Or this room. So that's where we just came from. And not up here, I don't think. Where is the life support system located? Can I find it on the map? Because I know there's maps. I'll check this side. Because I know this side is different from the other side. I'm getting a lot of lag too. Frame rate's a little bit low, but it's okay. I don't see anything that looks like the machine they saw they used in the video. Open. Oh, this is just like a panel thing. It's pretty cool though. They don't have a purpose yet, but they're pretty cool. Okay, we have to find this. We have to find the life support system so I can show you how it works. We have to find it. Where is it? It might actually be in one of the side rooms. I'm gonna check through. The space seems more open than it did before. And I'm not sure why. Oh, maybe it's because it's the other side. That makes sense. The the, the um, objects themselves don't mirror. So, you know, they get a little bit of differential shape. Let's check up here for the life support systems. I don't see them. Okay, there's a map system down here, I think. Yes, right here. Ship map. Uh, how do we zoom out? Is it a scroll wheel? Yeah, it's scroll wheel. Okay. Yeah, where'd it go? Center. Ah, oh, it's back to this scale. Okay. This could be a little bit harder than I thought, but we're gonna do it, guys. Whoa. What? I didn't know all this was here. Oh, because we're on the same floor. Okay, that's just the arrival bay and stuff. don't see anything life support system-esque on here. Let's go a floor up. Is there a floor above this? There's, yeah, there's that floor. And then of course that, because it's like a cross section. And then up here we have what is this? Oh, that's probably... wait... There's not one on that side. It's like a tower in the middle. Is there another floor? No, there's not. Maybe it's up there. How do we get up there, though? Okay, so there's stairs. No, that's just up here, isn't it? It's just up there. So why do I not see it on this... Oh, it is on that side. Okay. My bad. Okay, back down. Am I on this floor? Well, it's down on this floor. So there we have the bathrooms. And there's that. There's the elevator down there. The tanks and stuff. What about a floor down? There's just this floor, which has those stuff. Okay, I do not know where it is on this station, which concerns me because I hope there is one. There must be one. I don't know where it is though. We gotta find it. We need to find the life support system. 
I don't think this is it, but it's the only thing I can think of that would be it. These are respawn chambers, right? Where is the life support system? No, let me out of here. I'm trapped. Okay. Where are you guys hiding the life support system? I can't find it. I checked everywhere I could think it could possibly be, and I can't press the button on the darn elevator to go up. So difficult. Dramatic door opening. Hmm. I want to check in here again, even though it wasn't in here. Let's check the sides. I don't see anything on this side or that side. Because I saw that side from here. Is it like hidden around here somewhere? It's like a machine. It's like this big. Not quite refinery sized or ex extractor sized, but. It's, it's big, I think. It's, it's kind of big. I think it was. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I didn't really see all of it. Ooh. Ooh. Wait. Hold on. I just had an idea. If we go to design mode and open up the one for the mining station, which is the one we're on, we can find it. What we need to do is know what it looks like. Life support. Oh, there's different parts. Ceiling fan, door, floor fan, air vent. So this is what it looks like. So it's just a single block. What does it look like from the front? Arrow keys rotate. Can I not rotate it? That's interesting. So we gotta find something that looks like that somewhere on this base. Back to regular floor. Let's check this room. That's that room. All right. In here, see anything life support system -y? No? How about here? Don't see it there. Really, really wish you could change where the camera pivoted from. Because you can't. Page down. Page up. Select this room, check this one. So it is only one block. It could be tucked away in a corner somewhere and we wouldn't know it. Hmm. I feel like it would be in here though. This seems like the place where it would be. That's not it, is it? It doesn't look like it. I don't know what that is. Let's look in systems and see if you can find the thing that looks like that. Maybe in here? I don't see the thing that looks like that. What is it? Is it the cargo thing? No? Is it another storage? Windows furniture? That's weird. That's weird. Guys, I don't know where it is. Let's check room 13. Where is room 13? I selected room 13. Here's room 13. What's up with the stairwell? How high does it go? Oh, I'm confused. Oh, hello, domes. You don't know where the, the oxygen system is, do you? By chance, per chance, whatever. It's not in here, is it? I don't see it. I don't see it. Still don't see it. Am I missing it? Am I just like totally blanking over it? I feel like it would be in here. This seems like the place where it would be, but it's not there. Is it in like this little side room here? Well, that's just part of this room. 
Why is that window like different from the rest? Uh Oh! Oh wait, no, never mind, that's not it. That's just the hydrogen tanks poking up. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know where it is. It's hidden. It's somewhere. We can't find it. I guess we'll just have to die because we can't find where to put oxygen to survive. Where would it be, though? Like, why would I hide it so well? I need some, like, music for this. Classical music. There. Common music so we don't realize that there's imminent death encroaching upon us. We left the music so now we know. We're going to do one sweep around this whole station and look for it. And if we don't find it, we will die. Maybe it's not on board. I doubt that because there's oxygen everywhere. But what if it was not on board? Don't want to put it there. That'll eject it into space. Just so you know, that's an ejector thing. It ejects stuff into space. Uh, don't trust it around your kids. Anyway. I was going to do like... I was, I was planning on, in this video, doing like a quick thing showing about life support and how... Wait a minute, I just had an idea. It's probably in the terminal somewhere. It's not. Are you kidding me? So I guess it's not on board? Is that it? What's going on? Come back. Give me my oxygen back. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna modify one of my ships to have life support built into it. Then, we're going to build that ship. How about a saveable ship? Everyone's favorite. It's a great, great kid. And we're gonna put it in the, this, no. Put it in the back room. Yeah. Fill up that empty space there that no one likes. That's right, no one likes you. Get used to it. Okay, so we're gonna stick it right there. That should be good. That's showing the front, right? It's got the front. Yeah, it looks good. Now, each room needs to have a fan. Let's put some floor fans in. They must have a life support system somewhere because they added floor fans. I already had floor fans in there. So now every room should have oxygen, correct? Yes? No? Yes? Okay, good. Save it. Save the savable ship. Now let's go back to not main menu and see if we can build it, because I don't think we have the stuff to build it. Small ship, basic ship. Savable ship. There it is. Why is it all like lowercase and weird? We need a lot of stuff, guys. Quickly, do a time lapse of me um, mining. Quickly. Start time lapse now.
Now we still need more copper. Uh, continue the time lapse. Alright, this should be well enough copper. But there's still iron here, which, eh, who cares about iron? I don't know what I'll do with this, I'll just like put it somewhere. Maybe I'll put it in the vault thing, because I don't need to get out of here. Iron, no one loves you. Alright, that should be enough stuff for building ships in that cone space, and you can breathe on. Build the savable ship. Yeah, we have like got twice as much iron as we needed, but oh, I like this music. Which one is this? Is this the jazz? Because it doesn't sound like the classical one. Let's see. Ah, yes, jazz. Quite an interesting genre of music. Genre of music. Not so much fancy speech there. Anyway, now that we have the ship out there, let's go ahead and uh. Oh man, we gotta bring it over there manually. Oh well, too bad. We can beam the hydrogen over though, because we have the hydrogen right here. So let's do that. Let's do some transport beaming. Give me my oxygen there. Mm, Savable ship, uh, room to hydrogen tank, and a uh, pair for transport. Alright, ships should have power in a few minutes. Now all we have to do is... Wait, hold on. We have a limited amount of oxygen in our suit, which is what that blue bar at the bottom is, I presume. And, um... The ship does take a couple minutes to power up because, you know, the hydrogen has to get going into the power generator. The generator has to start pumping it throughout the ship. Well, I mean, the energy has to start pumping the energy throughout the ship. Into each thing, and each thing has, like, a little buffer in it. So it's like, um, you know, like, takes time to fill it with energy. Kind of like how the hydrogen tank takes fuel. The things take energy, and they have like a number, and they have to fill it up. And who cares? I'm going to be over anyway. Room suit! Guess what the game did? Yeah, it crashed. Hmm, okay, so I'm not trusting that that has fuel. So we're going to go back here. Beam across. Yeah, it crashed, which... That's like once in like, what, ten times maybe that I've done teleporting recently without it crashing? I think I know what I'm talking about. You think I know what I'm talking about. Right, guys? Come on, we, we got this. Oh, I have a little bit of hydrogen. But there's none over here. I wonder if there's any in the mining thing. Let's see, is there any water? There's quite a bit right there. Get that quickly. We need to hurry here, we have a deadline to meet. Let's get this one going though. You confused about this? There's. Come on, dude. Oh, pfft, duh. It's hydrogen, not water. I can't refine it. I had your moment there. Savable ship. Room 2 hydrogen tank. Let's do it! Give me some fuel in that ship! Alright, now if it didn't have fuel before, it does now. Now all we need is oxygen because I'm not trusting that we have any of that anywhere in the entire ship. In the entire game, even. There's no oxygen in the game. Except for, you know, that much. And what I have in my suit. Mark, you gotta check here too. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Water, give me my water back. I want my water back. I want to find my water and tell some special oxygen so I can breathe on my ship. I'll make this much oxygen and I'll make the rest into not oxygen hydrogen. That's what I meant by not oxygen. Because you can never have too much fuel, am I right, guys? Okay, let's wait for it to finish. Who's it gonna be? 
I'm guessing this one because it has less. Oh, yep, look at that. The first one done. The other one was done very quickly afterward. Do do do. We're gonna watch this. So if you don't like watching things, that's too bad. Done watching. Let's get it now. Stood, guys. Come on. Hydrogen on there. Teleporter. Wait. I put oxygen there by mistake. Wait a minute. Yes. I got confused as to whether that was oxygen or hydrogen for a second. Good thing I remembered it's hydrogen. Okay, guys. I'm still waiting for a save button here, so... If you could... Devs, if you're watching this and you want to do a cool thing for the next update, like a, even a quick save feature would be nice. Because I do get a couple crashes while teleporting. Hopefully not this time though, right guys? Okay, good. So this is how you do it. You put it in, click the button, and go like, boom, oxygen. And then it's like, oh yeah man, I get you, you want some oxygen up there? And then it's like, oh yeah man, let me just charge this ship up with some oxygen. And then it's like, oh dude, check it out, I got some carbon. And I get one carbon atom. I don't think it's an atom, but I get a carbon. And typically what you would do with this carbon, as they say, is, um... You would, like, either chuck it into space. Yeah, that's all you would do. You would chuck it into space. Oh, the door. And then you would get rid of it. But since we don't have a space into Chucker, um, I'm just going to hang on to it for now. Actually, no. I'm going to I'm going to teleport back and chuck it into space. They hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to do this again. Did they add a sound? They did. They added a new sound for the door. Listen to that. It's even better now. This is the best door in the game. Even if it's the same sound. Twice. I don't care. It's the best door in the entire game. No, that's not the right one. I need to go to my old mining station. Hopefully it doesn't crash. I need to click it. Oh, good. It didn't crash. I think, I'm hoping that crash that just happened was a fluke. Because, you know, it would be kind of disappointing if it wasn't. Uh, space checker, right. Hey, Oxygen, you want to sit here for a while? Thanks, buddy. Yes, there it is. Ready? We can see it outside? No. That's disappointing. But hey, watch. So cool. That's what you do with stuff you don't need, guys. Chuck it into space. Heard it here first. Actually, I, I wouldn't chuck everything you don't need into space. Because, you know, some things might be like humans or other life forms. Anyway, now I can, like, fly the ship a little bit. I want to do a little bit of flying on my spaceship. How you doing with the uh, old carbon? You got three in there. And you got 94% there. Mm, that door. Okay. <clears throat> Fly the ship. So, last time, I complained about this circle. Because if you clicked here before, uh, it would not do anything. Because it would be like, oh yeah, you're too close to the targeting reticle, you can't click it. And so, someone in my comments posted that you could change the size of that. Which I did, so now I can be like, woo, I'm targeting right here, which barely does anything, but still I'm doing it. Which I like about this now. Charging up my engines a little bit, so I can fly through space. Also, I was also complaining, I said also twice, I was complaining about being able to go up and down. That's page up and page down. Just like in building mode, with going up and down floors miss the station even though we're not gonna like take any damage if we crash into it maximum speed engage the warp drive which isn't in the game yet 
Yeah. Fly to the starter station. I can't wait for this game to have, like, the expansive universe they're talking about and the whole warp drive. It sounds so exciting. <sighs> Why am I only going 50 meters a second? I thought I could go faster than that. Maybe it depends on the ship. I don't know. Do, 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 do. Do a barrel roll, guys. But it's not actually a barrel roll. We're getting a little bit off course. Oh well, too bad. Flying through space. Have I showed you guys what the outside of the starter station looks like yet? I don't think so. I want to show it to you guys. Aim down a little bit. I also just noticed that there's like all the other stars, like that one and that one and that one and that one. And that one. So, is this the real sun? Or is it the Illuminati? I think it's the Illuminati. You know, they're always messing up stuff. Mm -hmm. I would check my engines. However, that would make me move. Maybe that's why the circle is here. So you can look over here and then check your engines and not actually be moving the ship. Hmm. I should have considered that before changing it. Oh well, I can always change it back if I want. I guess whatever you prefer. What I prefer though is if like, you just look over here, and then when you want you look over here, and then you're not controlling the ship. Because you're looking up behind your head. Which is really weird. Okay, that was weird. Fun fact, you can uh, spin your head a hundred and, wait no, 360 degrees in this game and not take any damage. The only way you take damage right now is by dying of suffocation. Which is why I named this new galaxy Life or Death. Well, Life and Death. But it didn't keep my capitals. I don't know why it doesn't keep capital letters and it makes me sad. Okay, we're 1.3 kilometers out from the start station and we're going at 50 meters per second. Here we go guys. We're almost there. Prepare for arrival of the station. I think this is up. Slowing engines. Slowing engines some more. Aligning with station. Oh yeah, check out these amazing docking skills. Much better than the last episode. Whoa, slow down. Back up a little bit. Cut engines. Nice, nice, looking good. We need to find controls on these rotation axes, axes. That was a much better docking maneuver than I did in the last episode with docking, which I think was the last episode that I did. Ready? Let's go through the door again, guys. That sound of the door is amazing. Let's take the carbon out. Thanks for the carbon. Amazing. Okay, let's teleport back to a station and dump the carbon into space. I also wish you could set it up so, or, well, no. I wish that when you clicked the button to teleport, it would say get into teleporter, and then you'd get in here and then it would like, like, and then teleport you. That would be better. Because right now you just kind of stand outside of it, and then you teleport by magic. It's on this side. Seven carbon atoms. Probably not just single atoms, but you know. I can pretend. It's space, guys, we can pretend. Amazing. Well, that's about all I wanted to show you guys in this episode. I'm not sure why you're still here. Actually, stay here. Hold on, don't leave, don't leave. Not yet, not yet. Stay here. I'll teleport back to the ship for you, okay? Just stay, stay on the video for now. Good. Okay, back to the show. So, if you like this video, then go ahead and give it a like, because that means I know you like it, and I'll do it again. Not the exact same video, but a very similar one. That door is so good. And um, subscribe if you want to see more of this video. Wait, no. It's more of other videos on this game, about this game, for this game, referring to this game. Yeah, and um, other games too. I think 
um, I also recorded today a video on uh, Destination Soul, which is like a 2D space game. And it's pretty cool. There's guns and stuff and spaceships and me crashing a lot. You should check it out too when you're done with this one if you haven't already watched that. And um, yeah, I will see you in the next episode.